Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it's the first Tuesday of the month, and you regulars know what that means. It is time for our free Unreal Engine Marketplace... Wait, no, that's not right. Our free fab giveaway, yes, the first Tuesday and now the third Tuesday of every month, Epic Games gives away a number of free assets on the fab marketplace. Uh, by the way, while you are on fab, one last reminder, get all your Quixel Omega Scan stuff. This ends the end of this month. Do this here on fab.com and then go on Quixel, go to the Mega Scans library and do it again. Yes, they are two separate things. I have done videos on it if you want to learn more. End of PSA. So what you've got here is you've got three assets for a limited time free. So until uh, the, uh, the 17th of December, you can get all these guys. Once they are yours, they are yours to keep forever, however. So you see here, we've got three assets. Engine Hall, uh, Vegetation Volume 1, and the Mercenary Bandit. Now, the cool thing you're going to find, especially for this particular case, this Mercenary Bandit is actually available for Unity, Unreal, and and Blender, which obviously means you could get it into Flax or Godot or any other game engine you wish to. Uh, so that's the nice thing about Fab. By the way, if you get one of these other assets, there are facilities to export from Unreal Engine to uh, Godot, Unity, Blender, etc. I've got all the guides down below. Go ahead and check that one out. Now, an important thing to show you about these assets before I go hands-on with them, you will notice if you click into them, you actually have two options here. So you've got a personal license, uh, which has revenue limits of 100K, but you also have a professional license. Both of these get discounted. So what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and add the other one to your cart and buy it as well. So it seems stupid to have to get it twice, but this will get you both licenses and there's no reason not to do so. So whenever there are the two sets of licenses, make sure that you grab them both and check them out. All right, let's go to the hands-on portion. It's gonna be pretty quick, because again, only three assets. The first one being this engine hall right here. This one has a bit of that industrial vibe, a little bit of steampunk going on, uh, a lot of health and safety issues going on here as well. Uh, again, a straightforward asset, uh, an environmental asset for creating like an engine room or a boiler room. This could be uh, even on an old school submarine, pretty small self-contained level. I get an idea. This is the demo of it. We'll go check out the overview, see what kind of content you get with this guy. So check the overview out right now. And here you see it's a number of engines, gears, so on. Again, a very uh, Victorian style or Victorian vibe to it. Old, like, turn of the century, turn of the previous century uh, feel to it. Uh, but if you just need to populate a world with broken down or near broken down or rediscovered tech, could be a good pickup for you there. Next up, we have the uh, Mercenary Bandit. It's this fellow right here. Uh, now, the one nice thing about this guy, with obviously multiple different texture sets, it does appear to be the same uh, meshes, uh, but different texture sets for them. This is the guy that is uh, supported for uh, Unreal Engine and Unity and Blender. I'll show you how you can access all of those uh, in just a second with the overview, but this one, again, pretty straightforward. It's a character, a mercenary-style character. I do wonder... No, it doesn't look like we can get under the face... Finally, we have our other environment here. This is a stylized texture set as well. This is for, again, creating uh, slightly stylized forest environments. There's some procedural creation stuff here as well. Uh, we'll cover that in just a second when we go to the overview as well. But you get an idea of what this asset is for making. You have tools in here such as a foliage remover uh, and a couple of other things as well. Uh, but if you need to add uh, trees and shrubbery in, again, a slightly stylized format, that's what this one is all about. And again, let's quickly take a look at the overview map for this one. And I'll pause. And here we go. So we got, uh, we got some rocks. Again, the rocks definitely are a lot more low uh, fidelity, I guess you could say, uh, than even the trees are. But again, low art style. Now I'm going to say these packs are definitely lighter since they've moved to the 3 and 3 format. Uh, but I'm curious, again, as I ask every month, what do you think of this month's giveaways? Head on back over here. Once again, we have the three different assets here. This one, the engine hall. This is for, oh, cool. This one's actually for Unity as well. I did not realize that one. It's not uh, so you can't always rely on the thumbnail to tell you. So Engine Hall is a Unity asset as well. Uh, so while I'm here, I can show you how you go ahead and get this one. You come up here, you click download, uh, and then you can pick uh, which version you want. So you can go ahead and download the Unity package if you wish, or you can actually download the Max, uh, so 3D Studios Max projects, sometimes available there as well. Once again, do make sure that you buy both versions. So you might as well get the other free thing as well. Uh, so that one is for Unity and uh, Unreal. 
This one here is for Unity only. As I mentioned, there are a couple of other things here. A package of stylized vegetation, complete with an auto material that includes six layers, including removal of foliage layer. Uh, it comes with procedural uh, foliage spawner configured so you can create a forest with just one click. Vegetation is highly optimized for runtime virtual texturing, in addition to materials for rivers and lakes. So if you want to do stylized forest environments, that one is that is what this one is all about. Uh, again, this one is Unreal Engine only. It makes sense because a lot of it is Unreal Engine specific implementations. And then finally, we go back over here. We have our military mercenary, this fellow right here. Uh, gives you an idea of what it's all about. Multiple different texture sets there. And then what you're going to notice is it comes with a ton of different formats. Once again, also multiple versions. Make sure you grab the pro version. It doesn't make sense that there's personal only here. And then when you've got what you want, so go back over here, you can do a download. And what you will find is it is available in a ton of different formats, including Blender, FBX, OBJ, Unity Package, and of course, Unreal Engine. And then we've got some converted files for GLB. Uh, this would be um, the sculpt app. Uh, why is my brain not working? ZBrush. Uh, and then we've got a number of different texture sets for it as well. So that is that's month, that is this month's first set of free stuff. By the way, if you want to stay up to date on the latest, greatest in the world of game development news, do hit that like and subscribe button. And this kind of stuff just keeps getting reported. Uh, by the way, come back on the 17th. We will have more free stuff. Make sure you claim it by then. And one last reminder, do make sure you grab your Quixel Mega Scan stuff both here and over on the Quixel site. Uh, it's two separate libraries, but invaluable. It's literally millions of dollars worth of game assets completely free. As long as you get them before the end of the year, they will be yours to keep forever. And these items that we looked at today, you have until the 17th. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.